Hi, uh, you join me in one of my favourite swims on the River Thames today. It's a beautiful summer's day. Uh, we're here carp fishing. Uh, I'm going to talk in a minute about one of my favourite rigs that I use on the river a lot of the time. I've, I've fished the river for 30 years, all in all. I've carp fished it for about 15 years. I love the River Thames. It's, I love carp fishing on the River Thames. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's hard to describe. It's more it's how fishing used to be a little bit fish have no names and you're not really competing with people for swims as long as you're not fishing in busy areas which I don't tend to do but yeah it's more it's more it's still pure in some ways the fish fight exceptionally exceptionally well it, 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 it can be good fishing it can be hard fishing you can be a long long way from the fish sometimes uh, miles away uh, other times you can sometimes five or six a night is possible uh, they fight exceptionally hard, so the tackle that I use has always got to be the very, very strongest that it can be. This, this rig here is probably one that I've used on the river more than anything else over the years. It's very, very simple, but very, very strong. Starting with the main line, it's 20 pound Gardner Hydra Tough. Uh, to me, this is the strongest mono that I've ever used. It's virtually... It, I virtually stopped a boat, a 25 foot boat with this stuff. I couldn't snap it. I, I, just, I thought it was gonna blow the reel up at one point. It is so strong, that it defies belief. Uh, moving down, 18 inches or so, about 18 inches or so of tungsten tubing in brown. It goes really well on the bottom of the river, covers everything up. Very simple leg clip. <clears throat> everything simple. Five ounce Gardner gripper lead. I like a nice big lead even in the summer. Make sure everything stays in place. There's no chance of anything being dragged. Little bits of weed catching on the line. Going down to the hook link. Starting off, I always have an anti-tangle sleeve on there. When using gripper leads, it's very easy for that to tangle around the gripper in flight if you haven't got one of these kickers on there. So it, it, with normal leads, it doesn't matter because they're flat profile, it will just slip off. With a gripper lead, it can catch up on there. So always a kicker. The hook link is Gardner 35 pound ultra skin. Again, to me, that's the best hook link on the market. The best coated braid without any shadow of a doubt. In 35 pound, that stuff is so strong that it defies belief. Uh, 12 inches, I'd say. Going down to, I've got a little bit broken there, a little hinge at the end, if you see. And then that's going on to some shrink tube, some gardener shrink tube. Just gives it a nice kick and gives it a curve, lengthens the shank of the hook. The hook itself is a size four covert dark wide gate talon tip. Again, these things are that uh, when when you need strength, they're the strongest there is. I've I've, no, I've not bent one, I've not straightened one in some very demanding situations. I find with these hooks as well, when they go in, they don't come out. Uh, using mainly, one of the main reasons you're using these as well is they have a beaked point and fishing over the gravel and that, which I'm generally tending to do on the Thames most of the time, when the little ones are knocking it about, you, they're not dulling the hook point. Go to a lot of, lot of trouble making sure the hook points are sharp, so you don't want them knocking them over. With a curve, shank, with a curve point, they won't do that. You see, I've got three hook baits on there. Uh, that's two bottom baits and then a 17 mil crushed cork, one of our hook baits. Uh, that's just to slow the bream and the, and the chub, the big chub, big bream, big barbel in the Thames. That won't stop a barbel, but the bream and the chub, it will slow them down a little bit, hopefully until Mr. Carp comes along. <laughs>